whoa, 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 black man. Guess what am I guess what am I thinking? I'm thinking how can we get the land back from the white man? Do you know the land of the Western world or the Americas that European came here and took away from the indigenous people that were living here? How can we get the land back from them? Huh? How can we get the land back from those people? We don't have any money to buy the land. How can we get the land back from them? We got to come up with a plan. Because the Jesus plan is not working. The Jesus plan is not working. So how we going to get the land back from the white man? We do not have any money to buy the land. Are we going to forcefully take it away from them? Or are we going to hack them for the land? Hello? Instead of you going to these churches and singing hallelujah, praising God and praising the Lord, and you have no land to plant your grains and to build a house on the land and raise your cattle such as goats, sheep and cows or the fowls we call chicken what are you going to do black man? hey this is what am I saying to black man what are you going to do? Are you going to continue to talk about Jesus? Those white, white icons? Are you going to find another pathway so we can survive in a better manner? Hello? This is what I'm asking black man. Because when a black man built a church, and he pray he's praying to Jesus and the Jesus that he's praying to this, this is the icon of the Jesus that he's praying to so I'm not trying to fool you I am not trying to make you a Santa Claus all I'm saying, this is the Jesus that the white man, the black man is praying to. And the black woman. So, I'm so glad that many program is on the internet now with this white Jesus because I started out many years ago. And I get so many dead threats. How could I talk about Jesus like that? I said, this is just an icon. And it represents the person that you believe is going to save you from your sin and your destruction. Yes. But I come to the conclusion that is not, there is no such man is going to save the black man from their destruction. Because the only people is going to destroy the black man is the white man. 
and also those I can is his family. Don't make a mistake. The black men that scatter all over the world, he scattered before the white men brought some of them here. Where I'm from, black men were living there before the white men brought other black men. And you know the European brought other black men to the Western world. So when they came to the Western world, they saw black people. Don't get it twisted. And you have a lot of black people saying crazy shit. Black men will fill all of the Caribbean. The Bahamas, the Dutch West Indies, Central America, as you call it, black people were there before the white men brought some here. And they were doing good, they were looking for gold, copper, and they were planting their crops. Also in Africa, they were there, they were planting their grains. Making their hats, digging for gold, making jewelry. They were very smart black people. And the white men came in and interrupt all their doings. And that is the problem we have today. I said I start the white Jesus on the internet, before the internet. I do public access. Let me tell you something about the public access. Every one of the TV operation, if they want to do business in your neighborhood, they have to give the citizen access to all the equipment that they have. And here time. Cameras, tripod, and studio time. But you see, they don't advertise that. So the public doesn't know. But if you go there, some of them will give you a date that you forget the date. Because they already hooked up. And that's how they trick you. Or PB, PBS. It's the same. Call them up if, if you disbelieve me. And tell them you want to hear your show. They will give you a time like three years. You're not going to bother with that. PBS. It's same with Time Warner. It's same with Spectrum. Same with ABC, NBC, CBA, whatever. They have to give the public access to all the equipment. But if you go there, they will tell you their book all the way up. They will give you a date that maybe two years <laughs> and that's how they do it so the point what i'm making they must and that's the way i was doing my show and i will get a slot time for saturday and i will make sure i get that slot for all the stations so when my show comes on on Saturday, 6 o'clock, whatever time I have, it will be broadcast on all the TV stations. The only thing that we'll see is my show, Herbs, Root, and Voodoo Spells. So, 
I hold him in the palm of my hand. You also can do that right now. But people are not watching public access anymore. This station, if you go there, is empty. Nobody's not doing any show. One and two people do shows. Because you can have a little camera on your phone right now. And you do your own video, edit it on your camera, and upload it on the camera, on your phone. You don't have to buy any $10,000 camera or $20,000 camera like me. I bought those years ago, 20, 30 years ago. Cost me $40,000 for a deck. A three-quarter deck. For those of you who know about, you, you understand that part. Cost a lot of money. I spend at least $75,000 on equipment. The lease, I count it all up, it's about 140000 So the point I'm making that they trick you in the doing. So we need to let the people know that this Jesus business is not working. But you have to confront the ministers because they're still talking about the Jesus. So the people still trap in the mind of Jesus. They cannot come out of it. How are they going to come out? You gotta, it's kind of hard to weep we watch the brains of the black man right now because black men is doing a lot of crazy stuff you know you too becomes the vice of the people now you can't say anything you want to say no more you're not speaking of violence and you're not speaking of terrorist act but you cannot say anything you can't use the word like gay you can't use those words. Bisexual or not. Seem like you can't use those words anymore. They want to close you down. So YouTube and Facebook and all those become the voice of the people. They tell you what to say and how to say it. And I'm telling you too, you better, hey, you can be closed down. Trust me. Because you were not there before. Remember, you were not there. So you came in existence. So you can go out of existence. Also, Facebook. Twitter, also the same. They want to tell you what to say. And you're not preaching violence. So look, the people got to talk up. You two seem like they're the only one of all the voices right now. You can't say this, you can't, you can't. Come on now, this is America, Jeff. Where's the freedom of speech? Where's the freedom of religion? Where's the freedom of assembly? Huh? You got the right for all of those. So you can gather any place and you can say what you want to say as long as you are not making threat. A violent act. You can speak about lesbian, you can speak about gay, can speak about homosexual. Come on. They're going to tell you you can speak about God sooner or later. And the word God is a German word. That's what they're going to do sooner or later. So what I'm saying to the black man, we got to wake up. 
We need to have our own voice. If we could have a partner, but nobody want to do that. Or have a trust fund. You know, I said that about a million times. 20 years ago, I said that. I was going around trying to gather up names and try to have a trust fund for our people. And most of the people that I confront, they said it will not work. It will, why it will not work? Because the people think you're trying to be rich, so they will not participate. That's the mindset they have. I said, no, my brother, listen, we can get all lawyers, all police, all teachers with good knowledge of keeping the books. And the people that would be in the trust fund or people that participate in the trust fund they will either own property, own jobs for many, many years, so they cannot falter on the way. So if we only have 3 million people in the trust fund, we don't need more than that. And each member put $10 a week into the trust fund continuously. Regardless of what happened, it would be $10 a week in the trust fund. We could have our own satellite in the elements. We could go to the Chinese. Who's building the cheapest satellite? Maybe SpaceX. And we could have our satellite there. And we wouldn't have to be listening to all the people telling you you can't do this until you can't do that. And the $10 a week would build us our satellite, register our satellite, and all the black movie stars, artists, put up a spot on the satellite to hear their show or whatever and we'll scatter all over the world if you don't want to build a satellite we could buy land build homes so our people would not be on the street find them jobs we got enough land for everybody to have jobs. Plant potatoes, plant corn, plant beans, plant black eyed peas, raise cows, raise chicken, raise pigs. You like to eat pigs? Raise all of these stuff. And guess what? Our people would not have to be on the street. Or do you see where our people is? downtown in the city you go way out in the country you don't see no homeless maybe this smart guy that take a patch of the government land and he put up a little house maybe close to the river and he live content he plant grains but most of the guys that is doing that is white guys so way out have his pickaxe, his shovel, and he plant his grain and he harvest the grain. And he catch wild bull, wild goats, wild rabbits, all of that, and live content. Black man doesn't want to leave the city. He want to be in the city with his hand stretched out. Because he like to smoke narcotics. So by he like to smoke narcotics comfortably in the city. After he smoke his narcotics, 
he prayed to his Jesus. And after he prayed to his Jesus, he smoked more narcotics. Go back and pray to his Jesus. So we keep on doing that all over. Caribbean, the Bahamas, Dutch West Indies, Africa, Papua New Guinea, the black man is into drugs. Once he finishes drugs, he go to his Jesus. Huh? And he content. His mind is content with his doing. So it's like there's no hope for him anymore. He's waiting. He's waiting. Who is waiting for? That's who he's waiting for. Because he's hopeless. But by his hopeless, waiting for that man. Sick. He filled with disease. All type of herpes. But he's waiting. He's waiting for that man. Because that man is going to save him from everything. And that man family brutalized my people for a very long time. But yet still the black man is waiting on him. Do you see the condition that we are in? And the young generation right now, they are not in that. They're into money and want to marry the white man's daughters. That's all they're into now. And they're into some immorality stuff. But they're mostly concerned about money and they do not care how they get the money. If they have to kill you to get the money, that's what they will do. Government cannot control that part way of living. They will stick the toxic man up and take the money away. Also kill the taxi drivers. And it's going all over in Africa. What I'm saying, don't take my word. If you go to Africa and look up into the shanty, the arms, to see these little Jesus up in there. Hang up on the wall. If you go to the Caribbean, it's the same. It's worse in the Caribbean. I'm telling you, it's worse over there. They've been having those icons in the home since I was a little boy. And you can't tell him anything about it. I said to a friend here, I went to his home, I said, hey, why do you have that in your house, man? He was a black guy. Why you have that in your house? You're black. His reply, I don't care what you said. I will never take it down. That's my savior. I said to him, hey, man, something gotta be wrong with you. Come on, my brother. How are you doing that? If you have a black one, it wouldn't be so bad. Put a brush the man up in your house. I put a Emperor Selassie. Put Emperor Selassie in your house. He said, I don't care what he said. Will not take it down. So you see the mindset that my people had. Let me look at my time. Yes, mindset that the people had about this Jesus. Is a disaster mindset. As, as they say, we're going to overcome, it's not going to be no overcoming. Because the mindset of our people messed up. 
Yes, the mindset is messed up. So there is no hope for we no more. Unless one of our people rise up. It's me, black man. Unless one of our people rise up. With the, with the strength of nature. And prophesy unto you. That the time is come for the change. Otherwise. We will be sitting in the same seat. And the seat is no hope. There is no hope for the black man. If any one of you all think we have some hope, let me know. Send me an email. And who you think can stand up and help our people? Out of the bottomless pit. Send me an email. Yes. If you think someone out there that is not talking about this Jesus that can help us. Like what Elijah Muhammad were doing. Like what Marcus God were doing. There's nobody out there like that no more. Or nobody want to hear that. They want to go with the bling bling. You know the bling bling. They want to murder white ladies. They want to have straight hair, long down. Take the wool and mess it all up. They want to have things on the face. When I was a young boy, the people that had the things on the face was, we call them Jankunu. They would put on a lot of stuff on the face and they would dance. On the last day of the year, the last night and the last day. In all type of rugged clothes. And they will take the thing you call nata and coriander and make the makeup on their face. And the guacu juice. Today you buy those in the store now. You don't need to do that anymore. That's what is taking place. But if there's any hope for a black man, let me know. Because I think they're dead and in the bottomless pit. Waiting for the white men to take them out of there. He can't take them out. Because he's not the original man. See, the Bible speak about Jesus. Jesus is not the original, he's a white man. Yes, the Jesus, the Bible Jesus is a white man, so he cannot save the black people. And I'm glad for those of you that begin to speak about this Jesus, continue, so we can, we can be a voice for the people so they know to change their ways. When I started this, if, if those of you that started now, if you did saw me in those times and continue, a lot of the people mind would be changed. I changed a lot of people mind. I just speaking from myself. Not speaking from this book that the white man made up. See all these? The white man made them up. And they made them up in the European words. That in African words. And if you're going to the dictionary, you can see where these words come from. And you can find the origin of all these words. And what language they derive from. Don't play bullshit with your mind anymore. Let's go. You cannot take the book out of the library anymore. I took it out one time. But now you don't need it. You can go to the internet and find out the origin of certain words from the Bible and what language it derived from and how whole is that word. 
So like the word God is 2,600 years old, 